Hi and welcome to this episode. Today we will be dealing with the questions that already came in after the first video was launched. It is much about caretaking of maples, uh, how you start a maple bonsai forest, and in the end, some about pruning. For some of my shohin, I put mosses on during the summer period, simply to keep the soil moist for a longer time because these dry out fast. But I try to remove some of it during the summer too so I can see the soil and avoid these mosses to uh, air layer the tree actually because if mosses are creeping up on the trunk it might air layer itself, it might produce new roots here and it was, will ruin uh, the nebari, the root surface of the tree. The next question, and we are standing in the sun at the middle of the day, is how much can a Japanese maple cope with the sun? Is it best it has a sun all day long, in the morning or the, in the evening? If you think about the Japanese uh, traditional buildings, where you have a space in the middle of four buildings, and this open space in the middle with the Niva, the Japanese small courtyard garden, is used to uh, drag out the heat from the house and up in the air. That's the same thing that happens in the tree. It drags up water through the roots. The transpiration will cool it down exactly like when you are sweating on a hot summer's day. The next question comes from John. John is asking a question about a triton maple. This is not a triton maple, but it is a forest made from Japanese maples and equivalent to the question John's asked. John asks, I have approximately 15 trident maples, all of which are 8 to 12 inches high. I put a picture of them up here. The trunks are only around 1 centimeter. That must be in diameter, maybe. I would like to develop them, make a group planting, like a forest. It is, is it okay to leave them as they are and just wait on them to develop, or should I grow them individually until they are the size I want? Depending on uh, exactly how the roots and the thickness of the trunks are and depending on the actual size that I cannot uh, see that precisely on the photo, I can say to you that the first five or six years from seedlings it will be fine just to let them grow, develop them a little, make them thickening up. Look really close up here you will be able to see the new growth appearing from the last cut. This is a habit of both the crabapple and the cherry, that it sets new growth just around a former cut on a f around a former growth too. So if you see any kind of growth rings uh, that is appearing where growth has stopped years ago, it is likely to appear there. I hope you can use my answers for something useful in your bonsai garden and I will see you in a week with a new subject. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.